said, uh, we have a special guest tonight here, Robbie P. I'm sorry to have to make you do this again, Rob. How how you doing, brother? I'm I'm too old for this, man. I know. I'm disappointed I'm in myself. I was I was so excited. <laughs> I don't remember what we're talking about, but but we're here. We're we're really here with friends now. It's not just us pretending to talk to other people, which is not nearly as much fun, I guess. Uh, uh, Rob, how do you feel about this basic bitch build of the night? <clears throat> I'm not afraid of it. I like it. I think, you know, here's the thing. The whole setup is, guys, this is easy. Come do it. It's for the people that, that Xander's out on the competition range with. They're like, I don't know, man. I don't need a gun with a dragon face. Nope, you don't. You need this. This is where <laughs> you get started. And that's cool. Pinkus, how do you feel about this? I don't even know what's going on. There's oh, there's so there's so much there. What am I evaluating? What am I looking at? Is is it a diorama? Is this a is this going into a museum? Is I I'm confused. I don't know what to vote on, and the safety should be engaged. Pinkus, thoughts on so the roast Glock here? Uh, I I like the fact that they're pandering to the show. I like that there's been some custom work done on it. I don't like red. Pinkus, thoughts on legality, color choice, anything? I love that. Gray is my favorite color. I like it. I like this subdued. It's kind of a flag, but it's not over the top thing going on. I like the build. I like the the base of the build, like the way it's put together. I'm going to have to assume SOT, but, you know, maybe he's edgier than we think, and I'm giving him uh, nine points out of ten. Favorite build so far. I'm in on that. You know, I'm torn. I kind of, I like it. I think there's, it's busy. Fast building things and shooting guns. Pinkus, thoughts on this one? You know, I'm torn. I kind of, I like it. I think there's, it's busy. There's a lot going on. Uh, it looks like it's well built. And I think like whatever this guy was doing, he thinks he's doing a hundred percent of it. And that's kind of cool. I'd like to see if that beautiful base plate goes below that magwell, or if it was flush, if it's flush, I'm giving him six and a half. If it extends a little bit tactically to go with his tactical light and his red dot and his suppressor height sights, then I'd give him seven and a half points out of 10. Pete, thoughts on this monstrosity here? It does, and it gives me flashbacks to uh, my time in West Africa on a French base doing some training, and it's it's wasn't great. So um, I don't know. Other than my PTSD from that uh, and childhood <laughs> memories of the FAMAS, thinking it was cool, finding out it wasn't. Um, I like the fact that it's completely out of the box. I mean, it, it really is cool. And, and I haven't seen that build before. I like the colors. So, I mean, if it shoots, right? It's, this is why I always think it like video work. would work on the roast. Like if we did video for the roast, we might find our votes changing. But if that thing shot beautifully, mm -hmm. I'd get to eight points. Eight points out of ten. Uh, I, I mean, I'll I'll throw a speeding stick through things. So I'm... I'm <laughs> is that is is that the whole thing? Is that to be mounted on a vehicle, or does that come off of that that pegboard? I don't. I, I think it's just a stand. Uh, he okay. Have okay. Other photos. Right. I I didn't even think that this kind of uh, technology was part of the roast, and I give him. I'm gonna give him eight and a half points just for the balls to submit the picture. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Is anybody? Can you see if the is, is there any wear marks on it to tell that for sure it's been fired successfully and not splintered? Um, uh, what's is the whole thing printed? What's is anything printed? I think he whittled some wood. Yeah. Wow. Whittling. I yes, man. I had no idea. It does okay. Look one point for the build. Eight and a half points for the balls. You've got <laughs> all the options, <laughs> and yet the thing you put before the roast is this amalgamation of. Maybe some really good ideas and a beautifully printed frame. I will say that, like, if you can block everything else out and just sort of see that that beautiful light green, the contours, it looks good. I like that part. You could have built it better if you've got all that other stuff. You could have you could have done better around that beautifully printed frame. Four mm -hmm. points out of ten. On here, Robbie P. How you feel about this one? I like it. It's like it's like the the white knight version of Judge Dread pistol. It's clean. Uh, I don't like red, but red and gold somehow makes it okay a little bit. And uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely going with the eight points, eight points out of 10 on this. Thoughts on this? Yeah. I mean, it does, I think you're right, except for the drum mag. I'm not, I mean, 
are we DMRing here? Is that what we're doing? Are we sending like the angry bees at every target? Because it seems like a lot of info for the extreme long range game. Uh, but I do like the build a lot. Uh, I think that for a second, I thought it was just like Photoshopped background, like a 1940s movie with a fake, you know, Middle Eastern backdrop or something. But it, it might actually be live and in person out there on the uh, in the shooting fields. It, it is a cool looking gun. I like the color scheme. And uh, yeah, guys, got, I think you guys got kind of a long face, too, because that comb looks really low. So whoever this is, uh, probably a little slimmer in the jowls. Uh, <laughs> I guess I like the straight triggers, probably really short, crisp. I'm giving him eight and a half. Out of Robbie eight. P, thoughts on these? Uh, we know I like gray. I think this is like the fancy guy version of the very first build we saw. This is like maybe this would be like three weeks later. He's like, no, I'm going to do it for real. <laughs> Just not quite there yet. Uh, maybe this guy should have done a more basic thing, but uh, but I do like the color scheme. I, I think he's got the right pieces, parts together. Not the cleanest print, but who am I to talk about that? Because I don't print all that clean either. It's Seven and a half. Well, this, I'm comforting these little guys right now because you're you're hating on them so hard. You you guys, you'll be okay. Go back in the corner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't, what am I even evaluating here? The mix matched camo, the tile work, because I'm about to put a place in North Carolina. And if this guy's, if he did that tile work himself, if he built the walls, I'm in because that's clean work. I don't know what to say about the mismatch. Did he install two different kinds of camo and then put a third kind of camo boot next to it? It's yellow. This, this is the gun builder's equivalent of the like taped up old, revolver that like LAPD puts up on their Facebook page and says, we made the world safer because we confiscated this assault revolver from <laughs> last night. Like this is the gun. This would be the equivalent. Like, I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if they know what's happening there and I'm offended by it, but I hope that the person finds help. Yeah. And somebody that does kind of match my shirt though. That's a good point, Mark, that, uh, George said Jack, but the, uh, other than that, I don't, I don't know. I feel bad for this guy. I want to help him, her. <laughs> them. Them. Are you digging this or not? Yep. Yep. Like everything about it. I like the fact that, you know, I'm not a big weapon mounted light guy, but if you want the weapon mounted light, it doesn't need to be obnoxious and huge. It should be kind of just small and there it's your secondary light, not your primary. I love the cobalt color. If I had to pick one polymer 80 frame color to have other than gray, it would be cobalt. Uh, I definitely like this uh, polymer 80 build. I like to see that show up because most of the stuff is printed. It's kind of the crowd. He's going against it. I think that's a green monster, which also is uh, kind of one of my current favorites. Um, much better than this peach. I will assure you that the green monster sugar free one. So I'm giving him uh, a lot of points out of however many points. I really want to like this because it's kind of just straightforward and it's it does what it does. I agree with you on the sites. I'm not sure that is it like for a small a small suppressor site uh, height sites. What zoom in on that pin? I don't an empty pinhole is bugging me right now. What? Like I'm all about There's I'm all about leaving that pin out. You don't need that pin. You don't need the pin, but if you have the hole, come on. Come you on. should have a pin. That's just yeah. lazy. That's just lazy. every hole should be filled. Rob is a and, professional uh, hole filler. <laughs> hey, I have a, I get a hash mark on the fifth wife. Um, so the, <laughs> yeah, the, light, the light kills it for me. I'm, I could kind of like roll with the pin because you don't need it. And I like to not even drill that hole. But yeah, that light kills me three points out of 12. The money in the stuff. So one would think he probably has, you know, an SOT and a full auto Chris anyway. And he's just like throwing stuff on the prints, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it's a clean build. It's it's obviously, and I, it's a good color combo. Like all the things are done right. It I, the only thing I'll say is like it it is it's very much like when I see a lot of money thrown onto the homemade guns, I'm thinking, is it against the spirit? Is it is it is it messing with people's minds just to mess with people's minds on purpose? Is it is it showing off? I don't know what right. it is, but it's it's a good looking build. I'll give them that. <laughs> Because that's a news. Uh, uh, yeah, I was getting. I, 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 D 
didn't really get the gold until I noticed it was a gold barrel. So then the gold on the bottom and the gold on the top kind of balances out. It makes more sense to me now because it's a complete thing. What gold thing. on the bottom? The little little engraving on the base plate. Oh. The nice. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. crony blind. Pay attention to the details. It's blended in with the troll works. The details, bro. The details. Bro. Yeah. So, so I, but I do agree. Like it's, it's not a threaded barrel and the optic isn't on there, but the guy obviously has optics unless those are like his friends, empty boxes who has optics. So that's, that's a, that's, uh, it's so close, right? Like he kind of put it all together, but then he's got the giant sights on there and it makes me a little bit sad. And the only person that really should build in white is snow anyway. So, what? well, there's no oh. marks. It hasn't been used. It's going to get dirty. He hasn't shot it or, or what did he, did he like bleach Mag the front of the magic wow. eraser, Robbie P you ain't know about that. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even clean real guns, let alone printed guns. Come on. You look like Mr. Clean. You should know about it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> clean a gun. So yeah, um, half point, five, five points out of 10, because it, it really is pretty good. I just don't know the sights. I don't know what's going on there. The two fire to be roasted. It really is. It's just, it's a beautiful build. I like it. I like the color scheme. I just, this, this is good. And it's a reasonably priced optic for, for a build that you did at home and you're having fun with. I know that, uh, you know, there's something going on with that front sight being useless maybe at this point, if that is what I think it is. But I really do like that build. It's pretty. I like ending on this high note, and I'm, I'm giving it uh, 11 points out of 10. It's really nice. 